a surprising new fitness trend. European sword fighting is growing in popularity in SoCal and all across the country. Yeah, it's not fencing. The unique activity <laughs> makes history, sport, and art. KCAL News reporter Rena Nakano takes us to a school in Orange to show us how to duel. This isn't a Renaissance fair or a historical film set. Have good posture. It's RJ McKeon's training gym in Orange. What they practice is HEMA, or Historical European Martial Arts. All of the other more traditional martial arts that you know of have living lineages, a master who has passed on his information to his students. But what we're working with are martial arts that effectively died out once guns became popular. Mickey Avila started taking classes here a year ago. There's a lot of my type of nerd here. <laughs> the 31-year-old history buff says she'd been wanting to get back into exercising. That's when she found an ad on Instagram and walked in. I saw swords and was like, that is so cool. I have to try it and haven't stopped since. So how do you learn an ancient art form where there's no one alive now who actually does this? This is a good one. It's by a man named Fiore di Liberi. McKeon says these European sword fighting manuals from the 14 and 1500s are considered the Bible in HEMA. It's the only way practitioners learn, interpret, and try to emulate the skills. This guy is pretty cool, though, because he's throwing his hat in this guy's face and he's also thrown his dagger into his chest. I call him the medieval John Wick. Because there's no one alive who can confirm what they're doing is exactly correct, there are no senseis or masters in HEMA. Then rotate around. Instead, McKeon, who has done this for over a decade, calls himself a lead instructor. What makes them different from, say, Olympic fencing or Japanese kendo is that there's an inherent war fighting element, so it's not just about the sword. If you get too close to somebody, the sword doesn't really work so well anymore. So you need to be able to immediately transition into grappling techniques. For some people, it's all about learning the history or the workout. For others, it's about training for tournaments, which have exploded in popularity in the last decade. For Avila, it's a bit of everything. I think the learning keeps me coming back. You never know everything. And no, you're probably never going to use these medieval dueling skills in the real world. But McKeon says, who cares? You don't have to do things just because they're going to be the most practical thing. If it's fun to fight with swords, then fight with swords. In Orange, I'm Rena Nakano, KCAL News. All right, would you do it? Uh -huh. well, it reminds me of the lightsaber. Surprise. Yes. <laughs> Only without the zit. So right. I, I feel kind of like, well, that's not the point. I right. get it. Yeah. Okay. Medieval. Yeah. Right. All right. <laughs>